All right, we'll give you a choice. You can either have Mario Hazonia or this horse. We'll take the horse. When people ask you what happened here, tell them King James still rules the East. Also, tell them I'm better than Michael Jordan. Someone's coming. Wait, what? A free agent? Coming to house Hornets? We have to blow the Charlotte Horn! We have to blow the Charlotte Horn! Wait. What was it? One blast for a night returning. There's no rider. Two for a buyout. Three for a eunuch trying to use the ladies' chamber pot. It's just the horse. How did you get in here? Is there any defense in this realm anymore? <laughs> he said what? It's Meat Pie Monday! Hey guys. Wait, wait, LeBron. What's up? Your hair, fix your oh, hair. Thank you. <clears throat> um, hey guys. Guys, hey, guys. Hey everyone, so glad you all could be here. I just figured since so many of you summer in Los Angeles anyway, it would be fun to invite everyone over to my new Brentwood castle for some mingling, some pampering, a little tampering. <laughs> but before we dig into our delicious fast-fired artisanal blaze meat pies, I do have some big news. <gasps> ben Simmons hit a three-pointer. <laughs> <laughs> Very funny. I kid, I kid. Oh, speaking of which, my servant, I mean my Lord Commanders, have informed me that the pies are ready, so everybody say it with me. It's time for Meat Pie Monday! Oh, Great friendly. Does he think he invented Meat Pie Mondays? He should call it Maze Meat Pies because he's so corn. Oh, AD! Oh, Kyrie, I must ask you. What are those? Oh yes, these are the new Kyrie 5 boots in honor of Sir Sponge Robert Square Tunic. Oh, so creative, you're such an artist. Hey, how's Grumpy Boys? So you're on Brooklyn now, eh? Indeed we are. Oh, I love it, such a good fit. Great young core for you to demoralize. Oh, Alex Caruso's here. Excuse me, gentlemen. Come here, Alex. Oh, hey, Carmelo. How, uh, what's uh, new with you? Oh, you know. <laughs> Got a lot of irons in the fire. Oh, yes? Our house is showing interest. No, I mean I'm actually a blacksmith now. Oh. Well, you know, I for one think you've been treated so unfairly by all those blog boy, media folk, analytics people. A knight of your caliber? You, sir, should be on a house. It's ridiculous. Oh, thank you. Uh, well, you know, if you need anyone, I'm... Uh, well, well, I mean, yeah, but the problem with the house nets is that with the, the cap and all, it's... Yeah. But uh, have you talked to Dame? Uh, I think house blazers might be desperate might be interested in a knight of your caliber. Oh, okay, sure. Oh, Sir Jason and Sir Jalen, how are things? Well, you know, it's never easy when you lose your best knight. No, it's uh, tough to see Al Horford on house sixes. <clears throat> hey, Celtic guys, um, so I was wondering if it is possible for me to borrow this uh, soul box, you see, for I have a new teammate, and he is a bit... Uh... Um, sorry, James, uh, Gordon Hayward smashed it. It's a long oh, story. Oh, wow, okay. What even happens when you smash a soul box? Hey, LeBron, just want to say thank you so much for having us. Paul and I had a blast. Oh, are you guys leaving? No, we're just about to start a big 1K tournament. Oh, I'd love to, but I actually played a game yesterday, and, you know, I'm trying to uh, manage me load, but... Oh, uh... Understood. Well, so glad you guys could come, and so excited for this little cross-town rivalry. Remember, guys, the only beef here is in the pies, all right? <laughs> all right, see you guys later. Anyway, yeah, I thought the original speed jam was frankly a little overrated. You're soft. Ah. Oh. 
your generation is soft. With your load management and your analytics and your AAU superhouses, the gods of this game will not stand for this. A reckoning is coming. Uh, I thought Lola's character was like weirdly oversexualized. I was, I was watching with Bronny Jr. and it was getting awkward. Yeah. What's going on with Dion over there? Uh, is he okay? Oh dear, I think he might eat my special pie. Oh, damn it, JR. I just don't understand. Why would Kawhi leave this place? It's good, Fred. What do you mean it's good? Kawhi showed us the way, he showed us what it takes. And now it's our north. Me, you, OG, the rest. We show the realm we're more than just a claw. Wait, what the? Kawhi? Is that you? Uh, hello? I think it's a family. You want us to sign your ball? What? Oh, no, no, no! Hello, old friend. Ah, oh, so Dwayne. Welcome to the media dome. Thank you. I'm so delighted to be teammates again. Oh, likewise. We need you. We're a man down without Chuck. Wait, what? Where's Sir Charles? He's like the funniest guy on the show. I mean, well, uh, well, luckily I'm ready to go. I've actually prepared a bit. It's called Wade's Grades, oh, you see? Slow it? down, Chief. You can't be on the show until you've earned your press pass. Press pass? Well, how do I get a press pass? You audition. A an audition? I'm Dwayne Wade. Don't worry. They make it easy on next nights. You just do a quick apprenticeship and then present your findings to the other maesters. You'll be reporting on an injury. Let me see here. Apprentice to Maester Mark Stein and his investigation of an injury to a... To a horse? Oh, I get it. You're being funny. <sighs> For fool MCL tears. Four full ACL tears, four full Achilles tears, and a full neck tear. Looks like the horse will be out indefinitely. So what, what happened? Foul play? My working theory is that Robin Lopez mistook him for a mascot. Hmm. I've seen that mark before. My squire season, I think. Yes. It's hand checking, no? Hand checking? Don't be silly, Dwayne. That was banned years ago. What was this horse doing when it got hurt? Horse things, I assume. Take this report to the Ravenry. Make haste. I don't want to get scooped. Ah, oh, Ravenry, Ravenry. Oh, um, excuse me, uh, uh, Maester Windhorse. Ah, Sir Dwayne. I'm supposed to take this to the Ravenry. Do you know where that is? I do. I'm going there now. Come. Poor thing. Yeah, tell me about it. A future Hall of Famer serving as an errand boy to Mark Stein. I meant the horse, out indefinitely. Seems he paid a heavy price for speaking ill of his heirness. Wait. Where did you hear that? My little birds are everywhere. Okay, well, mostly around LeBron, but some other places too. Have your little birds told you anything else about this horse? I notice a strange mark. No. Since the horse injury, my birds from Toronto have become useless. They're just repeating the same things over and over. What kind of things? Oh, how nights these days are soft, how the 90s were the best, how Sir Jordan is the goat. Boring old man stuff, really. Boring, eh? Could it be related to the soul box? Hmm. I didn't think to make that connection. But then again, I don't have your instincts. I never played the game. You never played? No. Everything I learned about basketball, I learned. In here. So many books. All the stories, records, recaps, box scores, and even memes. They all live here. We are this world's memory, Dwayne. Without us, 
The histories and legends of our realm would all vanish like James Harden in a meaningful playoff game. Some say if it's not in here, it never happened. Now, if you'll excuse me for one moment, Dwayne, I need to grab a book. Wait, I can't come in. I'm afraid this is very sensitive information. Only maesters with a press pass can enter. Hello, Dwayne. Sir Paul. There is no more Paul. There is only the truth. Right. Now that I'm in the media, I see all. I know all. And yes, I am better than you. Um... I have to go now. Is he... All right, let's go. Well, this looks like a nice place to have a long form, intimate conversation about basketball. Ah, yes. Here is where we do our pun, Cass. And here we are. Wow. Welcome to the Ravenry. This is where the media gel and fanlings connect, or some say even merge. The network of platforms you see represent the various localities that make up the greater social media del, a never-ending conversation between fanlings, scribes, and knights. You see, until very recently, only those cloaked in media del chains could reach all corners of Bolorus, but no longer. So, what do you have for me? I have this injury report I'd like to send out from Maester Stein. How do Pulse I... Pulse out indefinitely. I broke that ten minutes ago. Ha-ha! <laughs> Windhorse, what about you? Another story about LeBron? Those were different times. This is a story about how Luka Doncic is an ex-LeBron. This generation soft, no fundamental. Jordan is the Windhorse, look. Looks like it's not just my ravens. What in Seven Hills is going on in Toronto? Well, whatever it is, seems to have spread. Dwayne. We've got to get to Crame City. I agree. Oh, wait, my audition. It's tomorrow night. Don't worry. I'll get us there in no time, for I am as fast as the wind. You little mumble cross, I'll rip your bloody antlers off! Robin, come on, bruv. It's supposed to be play wrestling, you know? This bastard tricked me into signing a giant fake contract. I ask that you bestow on me the gift of range. Please, Jesus, Shuttlesworth. Giannis, I... come quick. What? We're being attacked. Uh, is this some sort of scheduling mistake? I didn't think there was a battle today. Wintos, look. There's Giannis. This generation is soft. Jordan is the goat. LeBron is weak. Wait, get down. everyone to a very special edition of Inside the Realm. <laughs> Dearest Maesters of the Media Dell, I now present the audition of Sir Dwayne Wade for consideration of press credentials. Today, Sir Dwayne will be reporting on the horse's injury. Dwayne, how will this affect House Raptors? It's bad. It's, it's very bad. Um, it's a shame. He was their glue guy. <laughs> now more than ever. <laughs> Wait, wait, wait. I'm not done. The reason it's bad is because Sir Jordan and the entire Dream Team are back. And they're going to destroy our realm one house at a time. What are you doing? Just wrap it up. Listen, no Jordan slander here. But he's too old. Father Time is undefeated, aye? Eh? Let's be real. The only return Chuck's making is to the buffet table. Yes, but that's the thing. They're all back in their primes. This is demonstrably preposterous. How could that possibly be conceivable? The soul box. Oh, hooey. 
My reporting showed that the soul box was smashed in Bostonia. Yeah, that was a top 19 moment in Bostonia basketball history, and therefore basketball history. The soul box power is not in the box. It's in the shards. That was just a normal thought. No, the shards. The fragments of the shattered soul box. They're made from the wood of Thalmaker's original peach baskets. Hickory Georgian hardwood. HGH. Oh, Jordan must have gotten the shards in the Terry Rosia trade. That's why he paid so much. Oh, hooey, Brian. I call shenanigans. Where's your proof? Mama, there goes that man. Horse. How's this for evidence? Is that Dan Marley? I won't get his race chapman. Who is that? That's Wally Zerbiak. No, it can't be. Why not? Because I'm Wally Zerbiak. I think that's Tom Gugliotta. No, I'm Tom Gugliotta. No, you're not. You're Bobby Sora. Oh, right, yeah. It's Christian Leitner. Bang! Oh, right, oh, right, right, yeah. So you're telling me the Dream Team is back? I mean, I don't see the problem. This is a story of the century. Yes, but it would be the last story. Sir Jordan seeks to permanently end the debate to prove he is the goat of goats. He's coming for me. No, Paul. Truth. Truth. If anyone is coming for LeBron. Hey, that's my bit. The people of every city he conquers are turned into mindless nostalgics with no passion for the modern game. Toronto is already gone. What? As is Milwaukee. Wait, Wait, Milwaukee's the best house in the realm. Also Detroit and Chicago. Yeah. Well, that's that's not awesome. okay. Zach Levine's pretty solid. No, he's not. We need to form a war! It's no use. There's not a house in this realm that could beat the dream team. You're right. That's why we've got to build one. Ladies and gentlemen of the media, Dell, we're going to need your all realm ballots a little early this year. Thank you, everyone, for being here at this emergency realm, all hands. By now, you should all be familiar with the threat facing our realm. So, without further ado, I will announce the members of the Super Super House, hereby known as the Knights of the Round Ball, as selected by the Maesters of the Media Dell. You bloody serious, uh, the Media what Dell? Do they know? Of course, the blog boys pick. As president of the Knights Guild, I think this decision should be made by us, the Knights of the Realm. Yeah. I don't know if that's a wise idea. <laughs> this is not the time of yore. This is the era of knight empowerment. Let us vote, or we shan't fight your battles. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, fine. But please, take this seriously. Okay, that's another vote for Jamal Crawford. Oh, Jesus, shut us with another vote for Mello. Another vote for Vince Carter, who's 42. Cool. Uh, actually, I'm 43 now. Oh, look, all three Plumleys. And Jamal Crawford again. Look, if you're not going to take this seriously... I took it seriously! <sighs> You voted for Alan Iverson. He cannot even play anymore. How are you going to disrespect Iverson like that? One of you even voted for Michael Jordan. Hey, Sir Jordan was unstoppable in his prime. Yeah, yes, yeah. we know. That's the whole point. We have to defeat him. Well, good luck with that. Maybe we should let the fanlings vote. No. <sighs> okay, listen, we experimented with letting the fanlings vote for the final roster spots. Let's just say it was a mistake. Well, who did they pick? Yeah, yeah. yeah I want to know. <sighs> Taco Fall. Oh, Damn it. Right. Oh, it's okay, buddy. You're still my little goat. And while we all agree we love Taco, we can also all agree we do not want Taco defending the realm against the Dream Team. So you're just going to disrespect Taco like that? Wow. <sighs> okay, Taco, do you want to go against the Dream Team? Uh, not particularly. Right, thank you. You may sit down. I am sitting down. Listen, this is not just any battle. If we lose... Our fanlings will desert us, our economy will screech to a halt, and our society, which is solely based on interest in basketball, will crumble around us. Before you know it, we will be on the verge of extinction, like the ice peoples of Arkenia. So, here are the official Media Dell selections for the Knights of the Round Ball. King James. Sir Wardell Stephen Curry II, Sir Anthony Davis, Sir James Harden, Sir Kuhai Leonard, Sir Jason Tatum, Sir Rudy Gobert, Sir Luca Doncic, Sir Dame Lillard, and Sir Joel Embiid. And replacements for the injured Kevin of Durant and the vanquished Giannis Attentacumpo will be Nikola Jokic. Hey, hey, yeah. How's Nuggets? We did it. And finally, at point guard, 
the undersized and often controversial, but incredibly savvy, so Chris Paul. Are you kidding me? Chris Paul, oh, are you kidding me? You shouldn't be serious. I'm an artist. I know, I know. Many of you are unhappy and feeling a sense of snubbery. Ridiculous. But we must move on. So where is this uh, big battle supposed to take place? I say we draw them into the mountains. The Denver Highlands. Denver? I think we should all fight for the purple and gold. I mean, what better place for such a grand super house? I could never wear those colors. We should fight for Houston. No house better represents the modern game. The cutting edge of battle strategy. No, there's no way that I'm doing that. We're not going to any of those places. The location of the battle has already been chosen. It will take place at a house that everyone can agree on. A place where we can minimize collateral because the fanlings are sparse and already stuck in the past. A house with a history of defense. But most importantly, a place whose market viability I'm interested in testing. Tonight, we ride for Seattle. Men, our enemy doesn't tire. They don't manage their loads. Their fundamentals are perfect, and they don't get distracted by social media ravens. Expect relentless hand-checking and ruthless physicality. Not exactly your best pump-up speech there, Doc. How much practice time do we have? Our scouts say they'll be here before dawn. Ugh, look at this roster. They're all masters of the positions. So we go positionless. It'll confuse them. We're gonna have to be hyper-efficient. Attack the rim or stay back behind the arc. Rangers, let them fly from deep early. It'll force them to respect our spacing. Yes, I will hit them with a barrage of step backs. And my passing ability will make them go, wow, I've never seen this from a big man. And I'll make sure to come up with some wily bullshit that will get them technical fouls. Right, you tell the refs the minute you see one of their tunics come untucked. We'll need every edge we can get against the Dream Team. We could try going 2-3 and force them into a long game of zones. Nope, 90s rules. That would be illegal defense. Crazy idea here, but uh, we could go small. Mike, no. Look, we have the talent, we have the skills, and we have the strategy. But the reason I know we will prevail is that we've got the ultimate weapon. Analytics? No, you. Oh, yeah, no, I've got this. We go right for the heart. You take Sir Jordan one-on-one -on -one and push his ass around. If he falls, they break. You want to prove you're the goat? This is your chance. Yeah, yeah, no, no problem. I mean, it's just Michael Jordan, right? You know what, will you, uh, excuse me for a second, I actually have to take my uh, talents to the chamber pot. Thanks. He's got this. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the first ever meeting of the Order of the All-Seeing Eye. Now, of course, by I, I mean me. I am all-seeing, in case you didn't know, I'm a genius. I invited you all here, not because we're friends, but because we are part of a spiritual house, one built around our shared hatred of a common enemy. Nick Stowski. Yeah. Playing defense. Balls. No, guys, no, no. Kevin Durant. No, guys, no. You were all here as victims of great snubbery, oh. excluded from all realm teams, mm -hmm. yes. harassed by ignorant fanlings, yes. chastised by analytics blog boys living in their parents' dungeons. Yes. Yes. But let us wallow no longer in the backcourt of despair, for the shot clock on our slander nears zero. Yes. Right. I have a dream, a vision of a realm with no haters, no hot takes and no raven trolls sowing the seeds of disunity. Yeah. Yeah. A realm where we can just play basketball in peace. Yeah. But first, we must destroy that which stands in our way. The media dare. Yeah. 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 But isn't the media dead too powerful? What's your plan, Kyrie? Doesn't need a plan, Draymond. He's an artist. He improvises. I'm an artist, Kevin. You never let me do what I want. Yes, I did. I left so that you could take whatever stupid shots you please. This group's gonna destroy itself before it destroys the media, Dale. Well, then we better get started. Follow me. Hey, you went to the bench feeling heated. Down from his poster boy Over the booze of the crowd and the whistles They all heard his famous cry 
You can get two shots when a soft night flops, but a ball will never lie. Poor Sheed can plead, or the refs play deaf, that a ball will never lie. That was actually quite good, Dame. Yeah, for a night, wow. Yeah, yeah for a musician it's not great, but for a night it's pretty legit. Now Oladipo, whoo! He's good for a bard. Like, he's oh, yeah. legit. Oh, yeah. Indubitably. Sure. Oh, my God. When he played Thingy Thmajigith in The Mass Singer. Oh, my God. Indubitably. Oh, yeah, yeah. His voice is so good, it makes my arms blush. All right. Well, if the realm is ending tomorrow, I've got some things to take care of. James, you should get some rest. You going to bed? Uh, something like that. What was that about? He's going to a brothel. Snidge! What in seven hells was that? I'll tell you. Before Brooklyn, house nets held from Jersey, but the foundlings were few. So the lords of house nets attempted a rebrand. They designed a new court, new tunics, armor, and a new mascot. But some thought this new mascot was just too cool. That the realm wasn't ready for something so totally radical. Swamp dragons. <laughs> That's a myth. Is this another one of your conspiracy theories? See for yourself. Hey, Kyrie, what's up? You're back. Hey, you brought some cool dudes. What's up, dudes? Are you guys want to totally wreck the media. I'm down. <laughs> Show that kind of frustration in front of Sir Jordan. It's like blood in the water. Oh, looks like we've got a Jordan expert over here. You could say that. Kobe? I figured I could be of some service. Wait, you want to help us defeat Jordan? But you've always worshipped him. I? He inspired me. But I kneel to no man. I serve the good of the realm. You must continue to move the game forward, King James. You are my legacy. Those knights in there, they are our legacy. I sense doubt. Look, I know I have the size, the skill, the power, but this is Sir Jordan. I mean, the guy scored 38 points in the finals when he had the plague. Yes, he's a killer. And to defeat him, one must become a killer. Wait, what are you? Cut away all your distractions. Cut away self-doubt and insecurity. Once you have removed all that does not serve you in battle, you have found your mamba form. I'm, I'm sorry, I, I don't think I understand. I'm saying you need to shave your head. It's a shame. The world is going to end tomorrow, and I don't even know how it began. I heard that our world was made when the gods smashed two universes together. That's why it doesn't make much sense, you know? LeBron? What happened to you? So, what do you think? Looks good. Finally. <sighs> okay, woo! Because I just saved off like 40,000 gold worth of hair potions. What in the seven hells? They're here. Halt! Sir Jordan, end this now before you embarrass yourself. Wait, what are you all doing here? It's not safe. It is now. For how Sun Kings will defend the realm. Yeah! What's a Sun King? We are a newly formed super house comprised of the best knights from House Suns and House Kings. Alone we wallow in eternal mediocrity. Maybe worse. But together we stand toe to toe with anyone. You should leave now before it's too late. The Dream Team will be here any minute. Well then. Sun Kings, ready yourselves! Guys, guys, I can't watch you get slaughtered. Let me join you. We don't need you. We have DeAndre Ayton and the... Uh... Who was the guy uh, we took over, Luca? Jared Jackson. Marvin Bagley. Marvin Bagley, yes. Ugh. Sun Kings, flame your balls! What? I'm not gonna say it. Sun Kings, attack! <laughs>
I don't know anything about the Sun King, but the Sun King's in trouble. Well, there goes eight easy wins. Yes, I would absolutely take Jilly Loka for over Ben Simmons. Um, can we talk about how we're being attacked by Russell Westbrook right now? Ha, Russ attacking the media? What else is new? Come on, he shoots 20% from the outside. Wouldn't be too concerned. I don't care about the numbers. I mean, he's got that killer instinct. I want him taking the final shot. I told you! The Swamp Dragon, it lives. It lives! All right, I have a little pump-up speech I prepared. You know what, actually guys, I'd be selling you all short if I read from this shit. So I'm gonna go straight from the heart. If you ought to believe the old heads, our enemy hails from an era far superior to our own. They are slayers of giants, ogres, and dragons. Untouchable, immortal. They are the gods of this game, and we should just get on our knees and thank them for the right to live in their shadow. But against the hollow ghosts of the past, the future is the eternal underdog. Aye. Today, we fight with the wind at our backs, and those gusts howl with the cries of legendary knights yet unborn. Now I could go on, but our generation doesn't have the attention span for that. So let's go out there and show them what efficient basketball looks like. My fellow gods of tomorrow, we are the Dream Team's Nightmare! Craziest battle I've ever seen. Watch the chain mailman. Who's got the chain mailman? God, I've never seen some strike men. Yeah. 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 This tunic's on top. This tunic's on top. This is what I found the cooker. Oh, that lord, bitch. Watch Trexler. Watch Trexler. Which one's Trexler? It's like a, a worse Jordan. Watch Pippin. Oh. Punch it. Punch it. Chris, punch Pippin's door. Oh. Who's on Jordan? Who's got Jordan? Touch his face, Rudy. Really. Touch his face. Which is their face. It's not going to work. You think the plague bothers me? <laughs> Mine. Oh, LeBron, how I've waited for this. We'll take it in, because this is your last, last dance! Good farmer. Spare some wine for your goat? Uh, my goat don't drink wine. <laughs> I mean, me, <laughs> King James, the now undisputed greatest knight of all time. Nah, nobody's better than Michael Jordan. Well, uh, you know, I defeated him. Saved the realm, no big deal. <laughs> okay. Is that LeBron James? Sure is. Well, what's he want? Just a little celebratory wine is all. He says he's better than Sir Jordan. It's true, actually. Oh, come on. Jordan's got six rings. Yeah, Jordan's a killer. Never lost a final. Well, he says he beat him in some big battle. OK, well, Jordan's like 60, so who gives a shit? Well, actually, he was in his prime because he used magic soul box shards on the Dream Team, and... Have you not heard of any of this? No. Well, check your highlight, Ravens. Haven't gotten any. What about your local sports crier? Nope. No news or nothing. Social media ravens have been down for a while, too. Wait, so you're telling me we just had the biggest, most epic battle in the history of the realm and nobody heard about it? Guess not. What the...? Oh, now this is great. 
Finally, we can just play basketball. No blog boys around to criticize us. We got no haters in the stands. Yeah, it's, um, it's nice. Bit boring, though. Oh, realm officials. Oh. Everyone, just be cool. Kyrie, stop. Yeah, this was all Kyrie. Yeah, I don't even know these dudes. LeBron? What have you done? You saved the realm. I liberated it. You didn't have to burn it all down. You destroyed everything. The stats, the history, the stories. The gossip, the ignorant critiques, the unfounded trade rumors. After all I've done for you, I finally beat Sir Jordan, and now there's no media down to talk about it. Ah, uh, so that's what this is about. That I've spoiled your coronation ceremony. Don't be fooled, Sir Anthony. His whole selfless teammate act is just that, an act. Behind those corny dad jokes is an insatiable appetite for adoration. Kyrie, you must understand that with the media Dell in shambles, there is nobody to generate interest in our battles. Our ratings are dim. Our economy is failing. Every second a fanling isn't obsessing on Ben Simmons' trade rumors or RJ Barrett's progress is one they are spending exploring other passions like science, philosophy, or even worse, spending time with their families. Well, what can I say? Guess I ruined something else. We're going to have to suspend you indefinitely for this. But considering you are a star knight, we would be willing to commute your sentence if you and your crew of grumpy boys agree to rebuild the media tell. You've still got so much potential, Kyrie. Don't waste it sulking here in the dark. Don't tell me what to do. I'm not your sidekick anymore. Very well. Burn down the media, Dell, eh? What? Hello? I have burned down a few things in my day. Okay. Like what? How sixers. Maester Hinky? How long have you been down here? Oh, quite some time. The only thing that sustains me is knowing that somewhere, beyond those bars, Joel and Bede, Ben Simmons, and I assume Jason Tatum are now a dynasty. Tell me, how many championships have we won? Um... Oh, what I'd give for the chance to show the world I can do more than just burn things down. Tell me about it. Destruction is the easy part. Any cynic can tear things down and call themselves a genius. But it takes a true visionary to actually improve things. To build a better world. That's the part I was really looking forward to. That's the real challenge. So now you want us to just rebuild this place? What about your whole rant about haters? I gotta say, being in the dungeon for almost a day, it, it really changed me. I realized the haters are what fuel us. Without conflict, there is no story. And our realm is as much about the stories as the battles themselves. Okay, well, also if we don't rebuild this, we won't be rich anymore and we'll have to get real jobs. Oh, so man, that's good rebuild. for me. Let's definitely rebuild it. So, what do we do? Russ, you throw up bricks from a distance. Kevin, collect all your burners and start repopulating the Ravenry. Draymond, you're the guy on the construction site that yells at everybody. Jimmy, you're also that guy. Boogie, you'll handle the engineering and blueprints. Wait, why me? Because you've got vast experience with technicals. Swamp Dragon, you'll be doing the welding and Mellow, you're on the bench. Oh, come on, I'm good again. I gotta say, Kyrie, I'm impressed. This is a top two media tale all time. There's one last thing to do. All the books and histories of this realm were destroyed in the fire. They must be rewritten. Let the truth fill these books. Ladies and gentlemen of Bolleros, we are here to bestow upon King James the most exalted title of Goat of Goats. For he hath led his knights to victory against the foe once believed unbeatable, the Dream Team. In doing so, he defeated Prime Michael Jordan, earning him the title of the greatest knight of all time. Hashtag wash king, eh? Thank you, everyone. But today isn't really about me. It's about my teammates. It's about all the legends who came before me. Of course, the Fanlings, the Media Del Maesters, and the future goats who may one day take this crown from me. Thank you. Now, before we officially crown King James, are there any objections? Are we 
sure he's better than Jordan? I mean, you could make the case. LeBron got lucky, you know? Yeah, I mean, I was at the battle. And don't get me wrong, LeBron was incredible. But it was only one battle. Best of seven, I'm putting my money on Jordan. What? I don't know, I gotta disagree with you, Chuck. I think now that these guys finally beat the Dream Team, I think that's all the evidence I need to say that the GOAT, it's gotta be Tatum, right? It's gotta be Jason Tatum. What? Jason Tatum? Has everyone gone mad? Where's Nick Wright? I think the dragon got him. Now hold on, everyone. I am lucky enough to witness King James's greatness night in and night out. What he does at his age is truly unprecedented. Thank you. That being said... What? One could argue he's not even the best knight on his own team. Well, now, hold on. The numbers cannot be denied. I have amassed the most points of any knight in history. Also, six rings. Five more than you can talk, child! I have 11 reasons why I am the goat. I would kick LeBron's ass. This debate is over. I am the goat. But let me ask you this. What does the word goat mean to you anyway? What makes a goat? Is it the rings? Is it the stats? Is it the style? No, it's the story. There's nothing more powerful than a good story. And who has a better story than Paul Pierce? What? Paul Pierce not only has a championship ring and was a 10-time All-Star, but he did it all after being stabbed. He once hit a game-winning bank shot, and when asked if he called bank, he said, I called game. Crippled man, who became the most interesting maester in the media dell, when he had the courage to say he was better than Dwayne Wade. He's right. Kyrie's right about something. That shot over Al Harrington was all time. To Paul Pierce, the true goat. Yeah!